All right, everybody, we are here at the post office. We are dropping off the 2018 Megaton. I'm here with Destiny Byrne. And so what I want you guys to do to enter the 1100 subscriber giveaway for a special edition of Soul Fusion is click the link in the description, like, comment, and subscribe on that video, and you'll be entered to win. All right, good luck to everybody. This is the mammoth on the dashboard. That's going to be the next big death metal band. What's up everybody in Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube land? This is Jesse Byrne, represent Team FTK, and I'm joined here with... Destiny Byrne. So today, it's almost time for Christmas, so I'd like to wish everybody a happy holidays. And I want to tell you guys what we're doing today is a story of Team FTK. So we're going to be telling you guys the history of Team FTK and how I got into Yu-Gi-Oh! And... How I got into Yu-Gi-Oh! Thanks to him. And so we're going to tell you guys our story, we're going to elaborate on it. So if you guys like this video and want to support us, you can check us out on Patreon, and you can also check us out on PayPal, and leave a, a donation if you're feel, feeling charitable. Yes, and also make sure to click the link below, or uh, go to Inked Gaming and enter promo code TEAMFTK10, that gets you 10% off your order uh, of anything you order on the website. Yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoy the video, so let's go ahead and get into the discussion. So starting off with my story first, because ours kind of intertwined, because, mm -hmm. you know, I met Destiny, got her into Yu-Gi-Oh! and everything. So originally starting off, I was probably about six years old, and I picked up playing Pokemon as a child, playing a TCG card game, playing Pokemon. It was a lot of fun, and I played it up until I was probably about 16 years old, and then I wanted to decide to play more advanced card games. So I decided that I was going to pick up Magic the Gathering, and I had a friend group who were neighbors that lived in the same neighborhood as me, and there was about four or five of us, and we all played Magic the Gathering, we all had different colors of decks, one guy would play a black deck, a white deck, and so on and so forth, so they wanted me to get in the game, and they were like, okay, the easiest deck that you can use is Mono Red. So they gave me a red deck, which is Burn, for all you people who don't know. And there's a lot of cool burn cards in, in Magic the Gathering, like Lava Axe and Lightning Bolt. And I started off playing Magic the Gathering, and I had a lot of fun with it. But as time went on, I started advancing more than my friends did. I started buying cards from Walmart, adding them into my deck instead of just using the cards they had. I started making my deck more advanced. And it got to the point where if I would use a card like Lava Axe, they would get so tired of playing against burn that they would just scoop. And so I thought that, that wasn't, like, fair. And I, wa I didn't want to play Magic the Gathering anymore because I wanted to play with those friends. And because they didn't want to play with me because I was constantly winning and I was better. So I decided that I was going to like completely just stop playing Magic because if my friends didn't want to play, then there was no point. So, <laughs> so I had um, I had some friends who played Yu-Gi-Oh as well. I had other friends in the same neighborhood that played Yu-Gi-Oh. And I was like, hey, you have a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards we should get back into it because at the time one of my friends wasn't playing. So he was like, okay, I'll build some decks and we can play together. So we built some decks, we started playing together, and basically I stopped talking with that friend and I decided that I was going to still keep playing Yu-Gi-Oh! So I just had a bunch of cards, I just threw them together and I made a deck and it was like horrible. Like it was like <laughs> Black Stegosaurus and Dark Magician, like all in the same deck, it made no sense. There was like Swords of Revealing Light and like cards that didn't even go together. Because I knew nothing about Yu-Gi-Oh! other than just playing for fun with friends. Yeet. And so what I basically did was, I went to a regionals. Because I found a flyer at a comic book store and I was like, cool, I'm going to go to regionals. I'm going to go have a lot of fun. And I got there, I had to write down a deck list. I knew nothing of this shit and I was like, what is this game? You know? And basically I got slaughtered. Shocking. First round I entered, I played against like a Miss Valley deck. This was a long time ago. Like a long time ago. <laughs> and I played against the Miss Valley deck <coughs> and I got slaughtered. And basically what happened was I thought that I was just out right there. I thought it was single round elimination because I knew nothing about the game. I didn't study it. I was just took it straight to a regionals. So then I started like researching from going to comic book stores and finding out more about like cards and stuff that they actually do local tournaments. So I started going to local tournaments and I had told people about my previous card games, like my interactions with Magic the Gathering and playing Burn. And they were like, you should play Burn. So I was like, 
there's burn in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, I had no idea at that time that there was even burn in Yu-Gi-Oh! And so I started making chain burn, and I started making, like, wave motion cannons, stun decks, and that's how I first got into Yu-Gi-Oh! On, like, an actual level was playing at Locals with chain burn. <clears throat> and I started topping with the deck. I started topping with chain burn, even though, though at the time it was incomplete. It had, like, one chain strike. It had, like, one card card E, and it had, like, just random burn cards in there. It had, like, uh, the bird that flips and does damage to your opponent. It had different weird burn cards in it that nobody plays. <laughs> and it had, like, like uh, wave motion cannons in it, and I would just, like, wait turns and use wave motion cannon. It was ridiculous. <laughs> and it made no sense, but... And that's how I started out playing. I got a few tops here and there. And then I started playing uh, Yosinju's right at the time when they came out. It was the, like It was Necros format. There was Yosinju's. There was Ritual Beast. And I started getting into uh, Yosinju's. They were really fun decks. Somebody sold them to me for like $20. And it was a good deal because they had Odd Eyes cards that had just came out with them. That came out in Duelist Alliance. And it was like... I don't know, like, probably $50 worth of cards for 20 bucks. so it was a good deal that I got. And I started playing Yosinju's, and I eventually took out all the Pendulum cards that were in there, and I just made it, like, pure Yosinju's, and I was having a lot of fun with it. And then I found out about YouTube, because I was a poor kid growing up. I didn't know anything about technology. <laughs> I didn't know there was YouTube till. Till like a couple years ago. So you lived in the 80s. Yeah, I lived in the childhood. 80s basically for my entire childhood. We were playing with slinkies and shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I found out about YouTube. I found out about Yu-Gi-Oh being on YouTube. And I started watching this guy whose name was uh, Your Yu-Gi-Oh Channel. And he has almost 100 subscribers now. He doesn't really post it often much now. But like back in the day I watched him. And I just like fell in love with some of his videos. And I just was like, hey, this dude's pretty cool. I feel like if he can do it, maybe I can do it. So I started my own Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube channel. It was called Jesse Burn 21. It was like really old, cringy videos. If you like scroll all the way down on Team FTK and go all the way down, you can find them. So bad. They're, They're so, so bad. bad. But my, my image was a marshmallow and I was a Burn player. And I was like, okay, I'm Jesse Burn 21. So I went on making videos like that for probably at least like a year. And then you realized you weren't 21 anymore? Yeah, and then I realized I wasn't 21 anymore. <laughs> and that's a whole other part, though. Okay, so basically, I had met Jameson and Michael, who were friends who went to a card shop locally. And I had talked to James all the time. And I was like, hey, man, I'm thinking about introducing more people into my channel and making, like, a team. And he was like, okay, cool. You know, I would want to be a part of, a, a part of it. Michael would want to be a part of it. So basically, they were on the team with me for a little bit. They made some good videos and everything like that. And basically, it just didn't work out with posting schedules and times and everything. So I decided for that I wanted to go back to making videos on my own for a short time. Um, I don't know if Michael still does videos, but I know Jameson does with Cosmo King TCG. We'll link them in the description. They're a cool channel to check out. Hopefully, I can get a guest upload from him in the future. And so that didn't really work out and plan out. So around the same time that that happened, I had met Destiny. And she was helping me make videos by just like holding the camera and stuff like that. I'm the backbone of this channel. And basically she was helping me at the time just record and hold the camera. And as time went on, we started to just like introduce her more into the game. Yeah, whoa, 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 let me back up and tell y'all about my first experience with Yu-Gi-Oh! Besides, obviously when I was a child I played it, I watched the anime, all that good stuff. But, jumping back into when me and Jesse first started talking, I, I was texting him and I was like, hey, what are you up to? And he said, oh, I'm at so-and-so place, Gerard's Gaming, yeah. uh, I'm running a Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament. And I have kids, right? So I'm like, oh my gosh... This guy is so sweet. He runs a little Yu-Gi-Oh tournament for a bunch of 10-year-old kids. I was like, oh, he's probably the nicest person ever. So, we had already we, we ended up having a first date, and then I decided to go to Gerard's and hang out with him for the second time we saw each other. And I walk into this card shop. I'm expecting a whole bunch of little messy-haired kids, you know, playing a card game, all cute with cotton candy and stuff. And I walk in, and it's a whole bunch of hairy grown men. Yeah. And, and it's nothing what you thought. Nothing. 
Oh my gosh, it's all grown men. I don't think there was a woman in that place. You, you were, you were the one. I was the one woman yeah, in that place. The one um, and I was like, oh, okay. Thought it was kids, right? So I walk up to him and I'm like, you know, hey or whatever, and we're talking and me trying to be, you know, a good little girlfriend type. You know, I was like, oh, you should teach me to play Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, because I'm trying to flirt with him. You know, and. He looks at his friend and he's like, oh my gosh, I've always dreamed of a girl to tell me that. And I was like, oh my god, what a fucking nerd. <laughs> so, eventually he actually did teach me Yu-Gi-Oh! And I realized that I actually did like it. Uh, and he asked me a whole bunch of questions like, what are you into? Do you like knights? Do you like fairy tales? Do you like... And eventually I just came up with, well, I love dinosaurs. Uh, I'm kind of obsessed with dinosaurs. And so he was like, hey, there's a dinosaur deck. Let me help you build it. And I was like, okay, that's cool. You know, and in the meantime, I'm recording videos for Team FTK, doing the uploading, doing the editing, you know, the backbone of the channel. You can thank me for all of our high quality. Anyway. Um, and so I started playing Dinosaurs, and I actually really grew to love that deck. And then I moved on to decks like Chain, Burn. Right now he's teaching me how to play Trick Stars. So, that's basically been my journey. I've played a couple different decks. My favorite, though, is still Dinosaurs. It's the first deck I started with. It's the deck I love, as y'all probably know if you watch the channel. So, yeah, that's my story in Yu-Gi-Oh! I really haven't done that much Yeah, and so having, far, right? having you on the channel really has increased the quality that we can give people and everything. Because, like, me, like I said before, I didn't know what YouTube was. So, I didn't know anything about technology. So, basically, it's like... I don't know how to edit videos. All I ever did was I uploaded videos from my phone. And the quality was very lackluster. And now it's just like... <coughs> excuse me. Improved immensely for you guys. And we're able to bring you guys even more incredible content. So... There's like two more parts of this story. So basically, recently we got a new member which was Chris Afrochete. And he's been with us for about the past five, six months now. Yeah. Yeah, and it doesn't seem like that long, but he has. And me and him have been friends for probably about four or five years now. And I met him a long time ago when I first started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And it got to the point where he was with this other team called Team King of Games. And I will not link them for reasons and <laughs> other reasons. But um, <laughs> basically he was with them. It wasn't working out. He didn't want to be with that team anymore. There was a lot of problems that happened involving that team and Houston. And so Chris wanted to join up with Team FTK, and we are very happy that he did. He's helped oh, yeah. us like do like a lot of really great videos, and he's gotten a lot better on the camera as like time goes on. So expect to see him with us for like a really long time. Oh, yeah, for sure. And then our most recent member is the Creative Duelist. Yeah, and we love that he joined the channel. He has a lot of really unique decks. He really is the Creative Duelist. Uh, he's I've seen videos from him even before he joined Team FTK of decks that I would have never even thought about to put together. And he put them together, and they turn out really, really cool. Yeah, and he's an amazing YouTuber, and he was guest uploading for us, guest uploading back and forth for him. And we were having a lot of fun. Um doing videos with him, and he's one of our friends, and he was like, hey, I want to join Team FTK, and we were like, hell yeah, that would be cool, yeah. you know? So we have our very own member from the United Kingdom representing Team FTK. He's the creative yes. duelist. Make sure to check him out. Link in the yeah, description. Yeah, we will link him down. Subscribe to that man. He is awesome. Broken he's content. great. Yeah, so I guess that pretty much wraps up the story of Team FTK. Yeah, we, uh, we just hit 1,100 subs. We're pretty close to 1,200 now. Yep. So we do have that 1,100 subscriber giveaway on a video previous to this one, so make sure you check that out as well. Also, uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for, for uh, more. Yeah, and we really appreciate all of y'all's support, and thank you for listening to our stories. Yeah, thank you so much for tuning in for story time. This was Jesse Byrne. And Destiny Byrne. Out. Wow.